narrative. The film depicts a catastrophic approach that shows the destruction of the North Atlantic Ocean in a series of extreme weather events globally. The Day After Tomorrow was starred by Dennis Quaid and Jake Gyllenhaal, and it became a world blockbuster which was directed by Roland Emmerich. The film circulates in a theory of government climatologists that theorizes a greenhouse emission could cause a new ice age. But in fact, Quaid's theory was wrong. The climatic catalyst system he predicted doesn't take decades to occur, but rather 7 to 10 days only. Over the course of the film, weather disasters occurred all around the world. There were hailstones as big as the size of volleyballs, tornadoes, and tidal waves. The whole film structured the depiction of father's love to save his son, and both going through hardship while apart. Even though there's a big risk to save his son, the film depicts a journey to tragedy. The main character decided to go to New York to save his son, even if there's this scene wherein the worst storm system ever that will quickly freeze and turn people into solid ice. In the end, the father was able to get to his son and they were safe. For the mission scene, the film director used color and lighting to create an effective atmosphere for the mood of the overall film by using dark colors such as black and gray. He created a mood of fear, danger, and tension. During the film, shots such as the Hollywood signage and Statue of Liberty were destroyed, which shows example of wide shot. There's a lot of wide shots to establish the chaotic scenes. Close-ups which show dramatic scenes and to show the facial expression and emotions of the characters. There's also a part in the film wherein there were wolves encountered by the characters and it shows a lot of quick cuts to draw disorientation to the audiences. The film shows the illusion of realism. It instills fear and curiosity of what might possibly happen in the future. It uses a realistic theme approach. It gives realistic kind of experience to the audience. Semiotic and contextual. The significance of the global oceanic conveyor belt's impact on the Earth's weather system is portrayed in a shockingly extreme fashion. Water levels started to rise, flood occurred, and other climatic disturbance occurred all over the world. This sets the stage for a new ice age. As to analyze the level of ice reveals the history of climate change. Later on, type of storm systems caused great blizzards became a series of three massive storms all around the world. The movie made a point out of this because they implied that a woolly mammoth froze instantaneously in the last ice age right in the middle of eating with food still in its mouth. It's also related to the effect when something is dipped into a liquid nitrogen. The characters breathe a heavy sigh of relief as the storm passes and learn from the past mistakes and look forward to the future. We human beings are held liable of what we cause to have experienced such as climate change in a span of day. There were scenes of reunion, details and explanation of anomalies and help us understand the mechanism of what's going on with the weather systems. Theoretical. The realization that we live in a world where we can never be sure how safe we are, how long we are going to live in this planet and such. The film is a prediction of a possibility of how the world is going to end up if we don't change our way of living and how we treat our planet. The plot of the movie is that the results of the global warming and the ocean currents circulates water around the world, shuts down and heated up the tropic and cooling the North Atlantic. The result is a catastrophic storm and a dramatic change in the global climate. The film theorized an abrupt climate change, seen in the movie for just a span of hours. <music> to wrap it up, we are the ones who must take care of the planet and we are the ones who must act on it. As of today, our planet is going through survival times. We're almost on the verge of extinction. Avoid taking advantage of what we have as it will cause great devastation.